Hey everyone, it's Nicole Noahsad and welcome to a process video. Today I am working with some cut files from my cut file store called JustNick and these are a couple newer files we had in October. This first one here, this feather is was cut with, it's from the sweater weather set and it's a really fall related one obviously and I'm just watercoloring them. Um, it was my watercolor set. I just cut these out on some plain white cardstock. I didn't use watercolor paper. Um, I've had pretty good luck with that actually. So as long as you don't get it super, super wet, um, it's probably okay because this cardstock is American Crafts cardstock and it's pretty sturdy. Um, but again, you don't want to drench it. And I'm just adding some watercolor also to my sentiment. And this is from our card sentiment two cut file. And I'm just adding a little bit of that. And then because I am not patient, I'm going to dry that with my heat gun. You can see it curls up a little bit. Just That's from the water, obviously. Um, but I'm okay with that. I just bent it back a little bit. Once I put adhesive down behind it, it will fix that situation right up. And then I'm adding some gold embossing powder to parts of my feathers. I've actually just stamped with my Versamark in a couple different areas. You'll see it better later on in a close-up um, of the feathers. But I've just stamped it and then it heat embossed it in those areas. And from here, that's pretty much the most part of my card. Um, I'm just going to add some adhesive behind my sentiment and stick that right down onto my card front. And I always make a card front when I'm making a card. I never actually uh, make a card with it folded and then add things to the front. For whatever reason, I just feel more comfortable making a card front. And I play around a ton with this twine in my stash, trying to get some around those feathers. It does not work, so I scrap that. And I'm going to add a few little bits here. I'm actually going to leave this card pretty simple. I'm using the Crate Paper Wonder Collection. So I'm just going to layer some strips of paper to the left side there of the card. And I'm actually digging into my button stash um, for some buttons on this page. I loved buttons and I used to use buttons all the time. I have a huge jar there, as you can see, from Ikea. And it's full of all different kinds of buttons. And I'm actually using a couple vintage buttons I got at a garage sale one day. They, these are like mother of pearl buttons. They're super pretty and thin and just some enamel dots. And then, bam, that card is done. And I did, did decide to add a stamp sub-sentiment onto my card. And it's just one of my Jelly Bean Soup stamps. Um, and I just added a little tiny pennant flag there. And that card's done. Now you can see here I have the word everything um, cut out. That's from our card sentiments one. And I'm at cut file and I'm just watercolored it in kind of an ombre fashion. So use a little bit of red watercolor and I just started at the bottom and then let my brush kind of not, not quite dry out, but you get the idea all the way to the top. And then really simple. This is super simple. I'm just adding some strips of paper from my six by six paper pad across the card in different widths. And I'm going to just stick those puppies down. And then I want to add that cut file. Um, but I realized the patterns I picked, that one floral is pretty bold. So you had a hard time seeing the word everything. So I just grabbed some vellum from my stash. And I'm going to adhere this everything over top of that. And you can see I used my Xyron X to stick that down. It sticks all little tiny bits in place. So so much easier than liquid adhesive, which will buckle on vellum, by the way. And then I kind of tinker around with a few different letter sticker options, and I choose these jelly bean soup ones. These are the Cut Craft Alpha Beans. And you can't really see them right now, but they did really work well with that wood grain paper. And so I grabbed my old school stickles people, and I just added a little bit of stickles to the top. And it's hard to tell because the light from my video is right there, but um, I did add this wood grain, this other brownish wood paper in behind, and it helped things pop up. And you can see it better in the picture that I'll show you in a second. Um, and then I just added it to my card front. And then I decided I wanted to add a little more, a few more buttons, but that buttons alone were just kind of plain. So I ended up grabbing my punch, which being a person who owns a digital cutter, I probably should admit that, but sorry about the glare off the punch. I had no clue about that. Um, but yeah, I just grabbed this like simple little Fiskars. I think it's a Fiskars punch. Um, I might not be physical. Anyway, just grabbed it and add a couple buttons to the center and added some twine and that was it. Just stick them down real fast when you need a card really quick. You know, if I had I thought about this beforehand, I would have die cut some flowers on my cameo. Um, but I hadn't thought about it. So once I get the twine and just stick these down and then bam, that card's done too. 
So a couple really, really quick cards. You can see that uh, ombre-like watercolor on the title. The sentiment of this card looks kind of pretty. And thank heaven for 6x6 paper pads that everything coordinates and your brain doesn't have to think sometimes. And then here's those feathers. You can see how messy I kind of was with the gold embossing, but I kind of like the tribal feel this card has. And I really like that circle sentiment, so I'm going to use that one quite often. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. If you want to check out our cop files, just head over to our store, justnick.myshopify.com, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day.